Yo, welcome back guys. My name's Ramora Jewel and welcome back to another episode of Witchwood. Last episode we just finished defeating the snake and got its soul trapped in the mirror shards. Well, in the fixed mirror of the couple over there. Um over there. Um so now we're gonna go and pick up on the bear. So let's go to the grimoire, go to our journal, and track the bear. So for here, I need well water. So we can go ahead and make some more pots. I need more clay, I believe. Yeah, more clay. Perfect, because there's clay over here. Oh, you little shits. That's fine. Right? Yeah? Yeah, got this. Well, I have some dolls for you. Goblin's not talks big, but is cowardly at heart. You should leave. You should leave it. Oh damn, they recover quick. Let's get a gold coin. not I need a goblin snot from something and those are goblins so hmm. let me use this one more time all over the floor here. Okay. Oh, I scared the snot out of him. Ha ha ha. Okay. Alright, I get it. Okay. Y'all got jokes. Yeah, I'm not worried about y'all. Go down to this whiny little guy. Wait, hold on. What was in there? What is that? Dryad fruit. Ooh. I wonder what I can use the dryad fruit for. I wish it would tell me. Sweet fruit, uncommonly given, said to bestow good romantic fortune. Hmm, interesting. I'm sure I'll need to use that. Pick up some sticks since I know I used up a lot of my inventory for that already. Ugh. 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 Shut up! Shut up! Damn. Alright, so. Good thing there's a lot of clay down here. I'll just break everything down here, then I'll go ahead and make the, the thing so I can get well water. I'll need clay for other resources as well anyways, so... Come here! Disgusting. Replace you. Oh, no, come on. Replace 
you. Yep. Don't really need you guys anymore. I don't need Cinderbox at the moment, so I can just leave that. the brewery boiling. So now I head back to the bear. Poor people. can't decide which is more dangerous, abandoning his post or standing this close to the bear. Wait, I did something. Oh, open topped barrel. Where is that? Oh, is that these? Oh, decent for a temporary storage. Not as much for retention. These poor, poor people having to deal with this damn overgrown baby. You slosh cool, clear water into the brewery's main tank. Not the best base for potion brewing, but you want to preserve that honeymead flavor. With a hiss of steam and the sound of boiling water, the rattling brewery is ready for the next step in the process. Of course, I'll need honey for the mead. That quartermaster said he was coming back with the apiary in the fields, so I best try there. Then I'll need a proper magical binder and a token of the bear to seal the spell. Something in this camp ought to do the trick. The frothing basin of the brewery stands ready for the right ingredients. I need honey, metamorphosis elixir, and torn teddy bear. Okay. Okay, interesting. So, where was- oh, there we go. New. Well, I can already make you- and it was dried hearts! Yes! Well, dried fruit. Careful, you don't mix the two parts together, or there's no telling what will change. That's... I'm glad I got that stuff already. Hell yeah, dude. All right, so now I have that. I need honey and I need a torn teddy bear. Now where on earth would I find a torn teddy bear? Through the open tent flap, you catch glimpses of pillage trinkets and treasures scattered about the spacious interior. You surmise that one of these precious objects might contain enough magical essence to use as a token of the bear. Your eyes have only a moment to linger upon the faint, the giant fur-lined bed before a hand pulls the door flap shut. The sergeant gives you a disappointing, disapproving glare as he ushers you away. Hey! You can't go in there! This is the bear's personal tent! You know the kind of hell that would break loose if he finds out someone's been snooping? 
Don't worry. I'll be careful. Seems like your men are keeping him distracted anyway. You glance over at the bear as he tosses aside a soldier like a sack of potatoes. No way. No how. If you think this is bad, just wait until he finds out there's no more honeymead. Hm. If you're so afraid of that stomping group, why don't you just slip away into the night? Surely it would prolong your life a little. And abandon all my friends? We soldiers gotta stick together. It's our only chance. If only there was some way to stand up to the bear. A thought seems to cross the sergeant's mind as he notices the portions, potions, and baubles hanging around your belt. Say, you're good with magical doodads and what's it's right? What if you made me some sort of protective charm or talisman? Then I could maybe have a chance against that monster without getting my head stuffed in. If I make you a protective talisman, will you let me into this tent? I suppose I wouldn't have much to worry about if you did. Alright. Uh. <sighs> protective talisman. That's over here. So in order to make this, I need... Okay. I can make you. I just needed one of you, right? Two. I need two. I need one of you. Which means I need milk. And then I need you. Wicked gemstone. The crystallized essence of evil. Insofar as it can be contained. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright, so then now I just need milk. I like how I can just walk past this bear and I'm not even fucking concerned. I love it. Um... Well, I can go ahead and craft the. I can put the um, the elixir into the brewery. Go ahead and add you. You ladle out a good portion of the writhing tar-like substance into the brewery. To be safe, you add a little bit more, just for texture. So I just need honey and a torn teddy. But in order to get the torn teddy, I need to get um, milk. So. Close to that sign, it started acting like I was about to teleport. Let me try something out real quick. I want to see where this puts me. Oh, it doesn't do anything. I could literally just walk forward then if I wanted to. Okay. Just go into you and go straight to the cow! I'm so happy. Oh my goodness. It makes this so much easier. to make more clay well I need more clay in order to make more pots oh hello there clay excuse me madam but I need I need the milk I really appreciate 
appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time. And make that. And then there we go. Now I have enough for you. Cool, 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 cool. So now I have that. And then since I need to come back up here anyways to talk to him about the honey, I'll just go from here. enjoying the series so far. This has been really relaxing and fun to play for me. So I hope it is for you as well. <sighs> Inquire at the apiary in the fields. Oh, wait, it was... Okay. I need to go further down in the fields. Okay. Whoops. to society. I would like this to be known. Alright, back to the fields. Apiary. Apiary. I don't know what an apiary is. I have to look that up. Let's look at the map. I guess it'll be. No, because I've gone here, I've gone here. I guess further down. The ox's farm and the trespassing. Alright, so yeah, I guess we just explore further. Ass crow or raven. I don't remember what what was over here. Switch you out for the snag vine. Um, I don't need you at the moment. I'll switch you out for that. Yeah, that should be good. Bye! Thank you! so happy. I love sunflowers so much. I love this. Ah, okay, okay, stop it, stop it, stop it. Wait, so what's over here? Did I explore everything over here already? Right, yeah, I did. Near the top of the map, I guess. 
<laughs> yeah, I guess I'm near the top of the map. Okay. So, I guess I go further down. Mm, let's check over there. It looks like there's more stuff over there. Through the sunflowers makes you so happy. Is there anything hidden in here? So that's a bird. Ah. Ah, I'm not concerned with you. There is something over here though. Pretty. Fairy circle. Fey energies converge on this spot, but to what end is unclear. Interesting. Alright, well I've covered a little fey area. There has to be something. I'm dumb. Well, at least I explored. <laughs> oh, hello, mean turkey. Was there anything further down here? No, okay. You peer through the hedgerow and see a ramshackle encampment strewn by strewn with plunder. Cut purses and brigands pick their nails with dangerous looking daggers. I got nothing to gain from this nest of knaves. Better make myself scarce before they see me. You scamper back to the safety of the road. Alright. I was gonna try and cut through, but alright. Let's go up here. And I've come to steal more eggs. Nope. Further up here. So it's to the left of the map. So I can just... Cut through here. Oh yeah, the mean ass turkeys. Alright, but so to the apiary. Okay. Oh, I guess an apiary is where they harvest honey for bees. Hello! Heidi ho I'm afraid we're closed for the season. Closed? But I need some of your honey right away. Sorry, our supply was cleaned out just a little while ago. Funny little man with a cart. You just missed him. Yes, I've met him. He's the quartermaster for the bear, but he had a bit of an accident on the road. I need to collect some more honey for the lakeshore camp. The bear? Well, that explains why the quartermaster purchased so dang much. I heard that... I heard that that lumbering bully would steal the nectar from the from a larva if, he, if it suit him. My poor bees have already worked themselves half to death for that order, and they don't have any honey left. I wish I could do something to help you. But the only honey left in the entire apiary is Her Majesty's personal reserve. Her Majesty? 
Why, my sweet spring flower, the jewel of my crown, the golden sun of my... Yes, yes, get on with it. My beloved queen, she's as lovely as she is wise and resides over her flowered kingdom. A shrill voice pierces the meadow and sends chills down your spine. Slave, where is my dinner? I ordered you to bring me the finest sunflowers. R right away, my love. And make it pretty this time. I don't want another one of your dandelion bouquets like some common wasp. Y yes, my sweet. Hmm, I think I'd better have an audience with this queen myself. <laughs> Tidy hives, full of bees. Completely devoid of honey. Damn, depression. But there's a box. I take your stuff. Oh, hold up. Y'all look like generally well-mannered, but can be quite hostile when irritated. Let me make sure I'm not irritating y'all. Miss, Miss Queen, Miss Queen, Miss Queen. A fantastic pile of honeycomb. Oh, wait, no, her. If Queen of Bees, if her size and countenance were not indicate were not indication enough of her status, a tiny crown sits upon sits atop her bristly head. The regal insect looks down her curled nose at you scornfully. Ugh. That fool beekeeper is supposed to stop the rabble from trampling my delicate garden. Good help is so hard to find, isn't it? And I suppose you've come to lend a hand? No, I don't think so. What do you want, little beetle? You seem like a very busy woman, so I won't waste your time. I need honey. Your best honey. She tilts her long neck back and lets out a buzzing laugh. Ha <laughs> ha! Do you think I simply give my carefully cultivated riches to just any commoner? Do you have any how dear? Do you have any idea how much time and energy is spent managing this colony? Everyone always wants something, but no one ever wants to work for it. Tch. In a rustle of petals, the beekeeper comes running over, holding out an assortment of beautiful prairie flowers. My darling sweetheart, I offer you the finest meadow flowers. I hope you find these to your liking. Is this... Is this marigold? You wax brain fool. You know how I despise the stuff. How many times must I repeat myself? Get out of my sight. All of you. My love, I have wronged you. Let me try again. You follow the beekeeper a short distance away while he busies himself picking more flowers. She seems to be in a foul mood. Does she always treat you like this? Well, yes, but it's really usually my own fault. Sometimes when she really gets her venom up, a little bit of smoke and soothing herbs calms her right down. Smoke, you say? I'm sure I could come up with something to even out her mood. Royal essence recipe. Wait, I have this already? Okay, so I need the spice, and I need... What is this called again? Sporific. Okay. I need water, and I already have these. Let me go ahead and make you. And yeah, I need water. I need more pots, though. Okay, there's no clay here. Okay. First of all, she wanted you to get sunflowers, bro. It's really not that hard to find sunflowers. Bitch. 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 Don't. Don't do that. I'll whoop your ass right now. Anyways. Yeah, that's all that's over here. Oh no, there's more. I think there's more. little things. Alright, so I need water. Do you have a little watering hole or whatever down here? A little well? 
possibly. That way I don't have to- yes. God bless you, sir. And now, I can make you. Royal incense. Not essence. Incense. The and that was further up here. lightly as the world begins to push and pull all around her. Ooh, does anyone else feel a little hot? Anyways, as I was saying, you can't just... just... The sparkling sun bears down on the queen like a warm summer's embrace. My, look at all of these beautiful colors. Have they always been so bright? The queen bee stretches her arms across a sea of flowers, brushing the tips of their petals gleefully. She arcs her limbs through the myriad of colors swirling about her head. It's gorgeous! Oh, oh, and what's that delicious smell? Cracking into the waxen walls of her hive, the queen pulls out a golden honeycomb. She proceeds to messily stuff the honey into her face. Mmm, delectable. Oh, it's so good. You simply have to try some, my dear. I've never tasted anything so delicious in my life. She offers up a sticky handful to you. Why, thank you, my queen. I'll take that shit. Can I get anything off of you? Concerned with you. All right, yeah, I've seen everything. You have fun with that. I think all those little worker bees are their kids, cause uh, he sound like he own. And now I leave it at that. I have the talisman, which means I now have the bear. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and go back to my little portal. My little portal, my little portal. Where was that, down here? I think it was with the cow, yeah. of the bear into the teddy bear and then that'll be the bear I think that's how it's gonna play out no it's not what I meant to do okay, yeah yeah I think that's I think that's how it's gonna play out I'm gonna trap the soul of the bear into the teddy bear so I have the soul of the of the snake inside a mirror. I have the soul of the bear inside of his own teddy bear. Here, this ought 
to shield you from harm. For a time. He grins nervously as he pushes the charm around his neck. Then he clobbers himself in the face with his own fist. W wow! You weren't kidding! <laughs> Though that's not nowhere near the kind of punishment the bear can dish out. I better find some more stuff to test it out with. Then I'll give the bear a piece of my mind. He stumbles off in the, into the camp to find other objects to try against his newfound protection, leaving the bear's tent unattended. In I go! Oh, okay. Nothing else. Alright, that's fine. Give me that, give me that, give me that. with your bare hands, thick, rich honey slowly oozes into the brewery's tank. Too sweet for your taste, but then this potion is not for you. You pause before dropping the tattered plaything into the brewery, a glint in its button eyes reminding you of something, but the thought soon evaporates from your mind. You overturn your palm and the stuffed bear splashes down into the concoction. It floats sadly for a moment before becoming waterlogged and disappearing into under the surface. With the addition of the final ingredients, the brewing equipment is sealed and set to work. Steam hisses from rivets and its swollen hisses from rivets and its swollen metal belly clanks and rattles. Before long, the waggling fingers of the gauges and dials settle down, indicating that the brew is complete. You give a quick sniff test and recoil at the sicken sickeningly sweet vapors. You push an empty wooden keg under the contraption spigot and crank the release valve. The brewery strains under the pressure and fills the keg with chunky, oozing fluid. May not be the finest honey meat around, but hopefully that great raging galoot won't stop to notice the difference. The brewery wheezes in defeat. You doubt it will ever make meat again. Damn, I broke the fucking thing. Into, its slave, into his slaving maw without hesitation. Slavering maw. He licks his chops, savoring the peculiar flavor. With a sudden jerk, he bears down on you with suspicion. Say, this tastes kind of funny. What did you do, soldier? It's an, er, a new recipe. I thought you might enjoy something with a little more sting in it. Ah, you know I hate new things. I'll teach you to mess with my favorite brew, you hayseed. The bear is upon you with frightening speed. He raises a huge mace in his paw skyward and you brace for the impact. With an equal measure of speed, the sergeant leaps between the crashing mace and your head. You peer through your fingers as a great clang resounds throughout through the camp. The bear roars furiously as his blow is magically repelled from the sergeant's talisman. The mace goes spinning out of his paw and falls into the lake with a great splash. He gapes, dumbfounded as the sergeant stands before him completely unharmed. Ha! That'll teach you to pick on us, you big oaf! This has been a long time coming! The sergeant wags his finger at the bear. Who do you think you are, huh? You think you're so big and tough with your fancy feather hat and your big honking club? Well, look at you now! The camp soldiers gather to witness in stunned awe. Miraculously, the bear seems to shrink in the face of the sergeant's onslaught. If it was up to me, you'd be dishonorably charged, discharged for disorderly conduct. You're a disgrace to the uniform. You're no captain of mine. With fear welling up in his eyes, the bear shrinks and shrinks until he is reduced to the size of a small cat. And another thing, I... Uh, what's happening? <laughs> 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 
In place of the bear's drunken grimace is the stitched smile of a doll's grin. Two button eyes stare back at the disapproving faces surrounding the little plush toy. The sergeant takes a step back to reveal the small shape of a stuffed teddy bear where the brute once stood. Your transformation potion has finally done its work. Gee, I guess I overdid it? He scratches his head in befuddlement, but seems genuinely relieved. Hey, Sarge, I guess that means you're in charge now, right? Oh, it, yeah, I guess it does. Well, what are you all standing around for? The camp's a mess. Let's get to work. And I'll take that ship. You pick up the diminutive doll and brush some sand off of its fur. As you inspect it further, its head lulls to face you. Far within the glassy surface of its eye of its button eyes, you can barely make out a tiny crimson flame. The trapped soul of the bear. This ought to be what the old goat is after. I'll be happy. <laughs> the bear quest completed. And with that, we are going to leave this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, anything to help make the channel grow. It really helps. Um, in the next episode, it looks like we'll be starting the next one uh, with either the ox or the leech. We'll see. But until then, you guys have a great day. Bye. Yeah.